Okay, everyone, uh, crunch down here. This is not a video I really want to do at all, especially with this particular spider. So this is a um, Brachypalma oratum. This is my uh, adult female, absolutely beautiful sp uh, spider. And looks like it has nematodes, which are a parasite that infect the fangs and collect the crystal of the spider. Basically prevents it from uh, from eating. So there isn't really much you can do about this. You can see the legs aren't very good. This spider is absolutely not aggressive. Look at the colours. Beautiful girl. Those little drops are just water. I tried to make sure she had plenty of water. I don't. Just send you back. What I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and clean up her fangs. And if not, unfortunately, she will have to go in the freezer and uh, she'll have to be euthanized, which is the most humane thing to do. Um, I did try and feed her with some crushed food, um, a locust that was immobilized. And I've tried to hydrate her, but this prevents the hydration and stops them from feeding, basically. So I'm going to try and tidy her up the best that I can. And um, I'll do another video to let you know how things go, I guess. Okay then, so this is, um, I wanna do a video to sort of try and show you what I've been doing. Um, I have several pieces of tissue. You can see they've got a bit of brown stuff on, on the very tip of it. This one's got quite a lot. And this is just me wiping away all of the nematodes from the spider. Um, you can see obviously not looking great. Um, she's being very patient with me. As you can see here, she's alive. And what I'm trying to do is I've removed as much as I can from around the fangs. So getting between, um, getting between the uh, the petty palps. Um, obviously, her legs keep sort of folding in, which is fine. Um, I just don't really want them there. To be fair, I'm hoping she's not too too bothered by this. Um, so I'm sort of yeah trying to wipe. I have already wiped between the clarissae as well. And you can see this, there's still little bits of ickiness. Um, what I am going to do, honestly, I really want to try and have a look at the actual fangs themselves. So again, holding the spider very carefully, I'm just going to just open up the legs. Obviously, I don't really want those legs, I don't think. What I want to try and do is have a look at those fangs. She's being very, very patient with me. Just shows you how uh, how weak she is. Just try and clean as much as I can. There you go. 
Good girl. It should be mostly sort of clean now. There's a little bit more movement, not a lot. I don't think she'll be able to uh, able to walk, shall we say? There's a little bit more movement. No sign of any any nematodes or anything. I'm gonna see if I can. Come on, have a drink. No, oh, no, come on. You gotta drink that, sweetie, because otherwise you're gonna dehydrate, and I really don't want that. Come on. Let's try and get skin. Try and give you some water. So what I'm hoping is that um, she might actually start to have a drink of some kind. Still looking slightly milky there though. Just gotta keep trying to remove as much as I can. Because I do not want this spider to uh, you know. Okay, so um, yeah, here she is. I put her in this ICU overnight. I know ICUs don't normally work, but what I've done um, is I've removed as much of the nematodes as I can. Um, so I've literally, using tools um, and tissue, got between the fangs and the clarissarine, I think. I've literally like retracted the fangs on the spider. She's, actually, she's, she's so so sort of chill. Um, so I cleaned, cleaned up the best I could, um, sat there and picked off any mites that I could see. I don't know if that's another one there or not. I think I don't think it was. I thought there was one just there, but there isn't. Um but yeah, so I got basically what I, what I could offer and cleared her up. She did not great. And so I put her into this ICU and she actually seems to be walking a little bit better um you know she's up a bit more so if they're leaving this this is like literally soaked oh <laughs> sorry sweetheart um but yeah I've, i'm leaving it on on this chair um because i've got a little heater down here so it's keeping it nice and warm and um yeah the enclosure has been removed um, emptied all out and I'm um, going to give it a good disinfect and a clean keep my eye on her I don't want to have to euthanize her but if I have to then, then I will 